Hello, my lovelies. Um, so it's been a long week. I'm super tired. I'm just exhausted. We're going through some personnel changes in my office that I work in full time. I haven't really had as much time to film. You know, I'm an, I'm adulting as well as I possibly can, and sometimes that means I have to do work or school-related things, and I have to consciously make that choice. So I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about why I've decided to start using YouTube again. I think for a lot of people who know me, this might be a little bit of a surprise. I tend to be a fairly quiet person. I don't share my opinions very often. Seeing me do something like this, I have to be, um, you know, able to speak somewhat eloquently. Let's be honest, I edit so I sound a little bit more eloquent than maybe I do when I'm originally filming. It's really been making me think a lot about how my brain operates, what my strengths and weaknesses are. I am an extreme introvert. For an introvert, it's actually very exhausting to be around people and to try and carry conversations with people. When I'm in front of a camera and just sort of spouting ideas, it doesn't have that same effect on me. There's like something about being in communication with other people that kind of plays the key role here. I tend to be the kind of person who likes to say what I mean and mean what I say. To do that, what happens in my head, I try and think of an answer that I can give, but before I can like actually let the answer come out of my mouth, I have to sort of think through how everybody else in the room is going to respond to that, which is not exactly a conducive way to have a conversation because by the time I figure out the perfect way to say the perfect thing, the moment's passed, everybody else has moved on to a different topic by this point. So doing the YouTube thing kind of allows me to let other people learn who I am and find out some of the important things that maybe I have to say in life and I've been creating like lists of things that at some point I want to talk about on this channel and I know because of the personality I have and this like conversation hiccup of mine it would be really hard for me to have those sorts of conversations outside of this medium and I think I have some really interesting things to say about the world and not to be like so overly self-important. I'm a learned person. I am I think I'm smart. People tell me I'm smart all the time. Um, but I don't know if it necessarily comes across in person all the time because I'm very quiet and so people don't really get to see um, the more profound side of me. But I just tell, tell myself I'm profound. I'm narcissistic. But I do. I really want people to see that side of me and hear some of the really important things that I have to say about the world and I think that starts with me being more comfortable in my own thoughts and um, stringing together thoughts and letting them you know verbally come out. <laughs> this is a place where I can do that and because of the miracle of editing I can make that message and I can say what I mean and mean what I say. You know, not to say that I'll always get it right. Um, I'm sure that someone at some point is going to find faults in what I say or they're going to disagree with what I have to say or find me problematic because we are all problematic at some points um, in our thoughts or feelings or whatever. Um, but I really wanted a place where I would feel comfortable in expressing myself and this, at this point in time in my life, is the best place for me to do that. On top of being introverted, I've been relatively shy and um, afraid people might think I'm stupid if the wrong <laughs> words come out. All those things interplay and make me very quiet and I'm trying not to be that. It's not that I don't like that part of myself, but I feel like if you have something positive to contribute, um, that you should say those things and up to this point, it's been really difficult for me to do that, and this is a platform in which I can express myself to you and to the world in a way that is doesn't cause me as much anxiety. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only person who has this sort of um, conversational hiccup. So if you are someone else who has that sort of um, mentality, <laughs> I guess, 
Um, why don't you comment below and tell me how and you know how have you overcome some of these things? Give me some some of your tips. <laughs> you be the expert and tell me. Hit that thumbs up button if you are someone who can empathize with this thing that I have to contend with. <laughs> and hit the subscribe button so you can hear all the things that I'm hoping to tell you at some point. I hope you're all having a great week. I hope it hasn't been as hectic as mine. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for listening. If you haven't seen my last video yet, you can click the link to head on over there. You can also follow me on a variety of social media sites at The Nerd Boutique. Also be sure to give me a subscribe, hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, and make sure you leave some comments below if you have any advice for me on how to manage my conversational hiccup. And I will see you next time.